Today, I will show you a simple way to draw an idea on your iPad, send it to Figma Make, and turn it into a full design using your own design system. It's fast, it's easy, and it could totally change your design process. Let's dive in. Okay, so today, let's see how we can take a sketch with on our iPad, or if you prefer, on a paper, and convert it into an interface using Figma Make. But not only convert it into an interface, we will also add a specific design system. So you will able to take your sketch and ask Figma Make to create the interface based on the sketch, but also based on your specific design system. The thing that I like in this workflow is that now I don't need to move pixels on Figma. I can sketch freely on my iPad and then ask Figma Make to create the interface. It saves a lot of time and also it is more intuitive to work in that way. Because basically, I don't need to move the pixels. I sketch freely on the iPad. And personally, I feel that it's much more easier and creative to work that way. So let's see how we can do it. You can see on the screen a sketch I did. Let's make zoom in. And the idea behind this sketch is an application that helps creatives or YouTubers to create YouTube thumbnails much faster. In general, a YouTube thumbnail has title, text, something like this one. You can see here. There is an image of a person, text, and a background. So more or less, YouTube thumbnail include these elements. By the way, this thumbnail is from Matt Wolf. that if you're interested in AI, he is the best YouTuber that I like to watch a lot. I'm subscribed to his channel. If you want to take a look, I will leave a link in the description below. Let's back to my sketch. So at the end with this app idea, the user will be able to create thumbnails based on their creativities, but also enhance the thumbnail with AI that will create a thumbnail more attractive for people. The user can add a new canvas, they can add icons, logos, images, they can write here the specific style. So in a case you have a specific style, we can express it with words and then the AI will understand better how to enhance the design based on your specific style. Below, we have the video description and the transcript. So basically, the user can add all this information and this will help the AI understand the topic of this specific thumbnail. And below we have a button to improve. So once the user add all the information to the canvas, like add icons, text, images, they can click on improve and then the AI will take all the information and improve the thumbnail to make it more engaged. I will make a little bit zoom out. You can see that I added inside the interface all the information and how the application works. And now we'll take this sketch to ChatGPT, paste it there, and ask ChatGPT to create requirements based on this sketch. We are in ChatGPT. Let's open the image. You can see that I paste the sketch here. Let's close it. And below, I add some information about the concept of the application. Basically, I open ChatGPT and start to talk to Chat. Then Chat take all the information you can see here below and organize all the information. We have the concept, the structure, the video context input, how the AI works, and more stuff. Now below of that, let's move one moment below. I added again the image and I write below. Okay, now based on the image and the description, explain to my developer about the app so they can develop it. Write it very structural and to the point, explaining the idea and what each button on the interface does based on my sketch and then create all the instruction. You can see here below the purpose, the user workflow, all the information below. I asked the chat to write it with Markdown and basically when you work in Markdown, the LLM model understand better the information. It is not must, but it's helped to the LLM model behind Figma Make or any LLM model understand what you want to achieve better. Once I click on that, we created this Markdown you can see it here that basically it's the same stuff, but with Markdown. I copy the requirements. Now let's move to Figma Make. Now I will paste it on Figma Make, select the library. In that case, I will select my design system. And just to show you, my design system include all of these components. It is not a full design system. We have here the buttons, the checkbox, the radio buttons, switch. We have below the dropdown. But basically, it is not full design system. If you have a design system with more components, it will work better. But for that demonstration, you will see how powerful this process. Let's back to Figma Make. I added a sketch. We have also the instruction. 
Below, I want to add one more thing. I added this line, create interface exactly as in the sketch. And now let's execute and let's see how Figma may convert our sketch to a real interface. And if you are new to Figma, make, just let you know that this process can take five minutes more or less because basically the LLM model behind Figma make needs to write a lot of line of codes, but you will see in one moment the magic, how it's converted my sketch into a real interface based on my design system. It's finished the work. You can see on the screen the result. Let's open it on a full screen. We have the left menu with add icons, add logos, add image. For example, I click on add icons and I can add icons from here. Let's close it. Below we have the thumbnail preview. Also, there is a button to improve with AI. It's added also, as you can see here, the download button. So in that case, it's added a value to my sketch without asking. Let's back one moment to my sketch. What I want to do now is to take a screenshot of the sketch. Let's do it one moment. And what I want to do now is to force Figma Make to create the interface exactly like my sketch. So let's move one moment to Figma Make. I paste the image. I write create the interface exactly like the sketch. Let's execute. What I want to achieve now is that Figma Make will create the interface exactly like my sketch. It's finished the work. You can see that the interface is much more simple. Let's put it on full screen. We have the left menu. The user can add icons, logos, images, add a new thumbnail canvas and improve the thumbnail. And you can see that this design, it's much more closer to my design. But basically now it's looked like a wireframe. So what I can do here, I can ask to create it more like application and less like a wireframe. So although your sketch looks like a wireframe, you can ask Figma Make to convert it to high fidelity screen. Let's back one moment to Figma Make. Let's paste the prompt. Perfect. Now take this design and improve it. Now it looks like low fidelity. Make it high fidelity. Make it in a minimalist design style based on my design system. Let's execute. And in one moment, let's see the result. It finished the work. Let's open it on a full screen. You can see here the design. It looks much more like an application and less like a wireframe. As always in the left menu, the user can add icons, add logos, add images. Let's click on it. There is a problem in the typography, but that's okay. I can change it after that. Let's close it. The user can add new project. And if I go below, the user can improve the design with AI. So as you can see in that video, what I want to show is how you can take your sketch and convert it into an interface based on your design system with Figma Make. I show in that demonstration one screen, but basically you can do it with more screen, like you can take one hour to make many sketches and with that technique, convert them to an interface very easily. By the way, I hope that more will add some workflow to Figma because now we created a full application from sketch. But what I would like to do is to create the only static screen from a sketch because then I can work on Figma. So you can take your sketches, convert it then to an interface and show to the people you work with. It can be developers, designer, or any person that work with you in the company. And that's all for this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Take care.